£600 for a four-hour shift. That's about three times the rate of their regular pay. A BBC investigation has found the amount of overtime paid to consultants has increased by more than a third. That's just in the past two years. We're joined now from our Nottingham studio by Danny Mortimer, the chief executive of NHS Employers, the organisation which represents NHS Trusts. So, morning to you. Thanks very much for joining us. Are you surprised? I mean, we're hearing of one consultant making £375,000 extra in the space of 12 months. Uh, clearly, that's a very extreme... Uh, example, I think the average you found was uh, closer to £13,000. Uh, and you found that uh, situation for half our workforce. And I think as you touched on in your headlines, uh, we are in the process of trying to reform the consultant contract. So actually there is a, a system of fair payment uh, for work outside of uh, normal daytime work for all consultants. Whereas at the moment we have a different systems for different consultants. Yes, absolutely. Um, in your view, and you may not be able to tell me, what is fair mm. payment? Uh, we're still in the process of, uh, of agreeing that with the BMA, the, the trade union that represents consultants. Um, we believe that a, a system that rewards the doctors who work uh, the most onerous working patterns at nights and, week uh, nights and weekends, uh, they will deserve the most payment. Uh, but we're working through the details with our BMA colleagues and are, and are hopeful of reaching a settlement with them. Um, I understand a lot of the payments are what are called waiting list initiative mm -hmm. payments. What can be done about that? Um, Again, the, the, the agreement that we are seeking to reach um, should help uh, end this differentiation we currently have between non-emergency work, so the kind of work that attracts waiting list initiative payments, and emergency work, the kind of work uh, that other doctors are doing at the weekend uh, for much lower rates of extra pay. Um, the growth in waiting list initiative uh, work at weekends is being driven by the and more work is being shifted to the weekend so that we can meet the obligations we have uh, to treat patients in a, in a timely fashion. Oh, we know um, uh, the BBC has spoken to one trust in Wigan that just refuses to pay higher overtime mm. rates and they've come to different agreements. Can that be extended? Um, I think uh, the colleagues in Wigan deserve real credit for the, for the agreement they've reached with their, their consultants. Um, and there are examples, as I've said already, where there are consultants in the workforce who aren't uh, working for extra pay and in my experience uh, most consultants I've worked in with in my 25 years in the health service work way above and beyond uh, their contracted uh, expectations. Um, clearly uh, there are things that people can do. We believe that finding a, a new contractual settlement with consultants will help all trusts achieve uh, something close to what Wigan have done. Okay, how long is all that going to take? Um, the uh, negotiations have been going on in earnest for about the last 12 months or so. Uh, we've still got a little bit of work to do on the details with our BMA colleagues and with the government, um, but we hope to be in a position to, to finalise matters uh, as we head into the autumn. And BMA says there just aren't enough consultants. Clearly an example like the one in Lancashire, I think that does speak to a shortage in that particular uh, specialty, uh, whichever one it may be in Lancashire. I think there are other situations, though, where your, uh, your report um, highlighted those kind of extra payments, and those are in specialties where actually we do have a good supply of, of doctors, but their contract uh, means that uh, we need to uh, ensure that we pay them uh, extra money at weekends. And you say you're talking to them and, and, other, and trusts. Do trusts have to do this individually? Is that how it's working at the moment? Yes, the arrangements are, are locally, uh, locally made. Can that be changed or is, is that going to continue? Because that's, the, that's what they need, they need control. And what, we, what we're very much hoping to achieve is a, is a new standardised national approach that trusts can then apply locally. Um, that's not to say there may not be local arrangements in, in particular, um, but I think they will become less common. Danny Mortimer, Chief Executive of uh, NHS Employers, thanks for your time. Thank you. Time now is 16 minutes.